Unraveling idioms, drawing a long bow. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of idioms, specifically the phrase, drawing a long bow. Idioms are a key part of mastering English, adding color and depth to our conversations. So, if you've ever wondered what it means to draw a long bow, you're in the right place. The phrase, drawing a long bow, is an idiom used to describe someone who is exaggerating or telling a far-fetched story. It comes from the world of archery, where drawing a long bow requires a lot of strength and skill. And the longer the bow, the more challenging it is to draw and shoot accurately. In this context, it symbolizes the stretch of truth or the effort to make a story more interesting by adding unbelievable elements. Understanding the origins of idioms can often help us grasp their meanings more deeply. The phrase, drawing a long bow, dates back to medieval times, when archery was not just a sport but a crucial skill for soldiers. The longbow was a powerful weapon, but using it effectively required both strength and precision. Over time, the phrase came to be used metaphorically to refer to the act of stretching the truth, much like stretching a long bow beyond its capacity to aim accurately. Incorporating idioms into your speech can make your English sound more fluent and natural. Here are a few examples of how drawing a long bow can be used in conversation. I think he's drawing a long bow with that story about meeting a celebrity. She's known for drawing a long bow. Take her stories with a grain of salt. You're not drawing a long bow, are you? That sounds too good to be true. Using this phrase in conversations can add a playful element, especially when questioning the credibility of a tale or gently accusing someone of exaggeration. We hope this exploration of the idiom, drawing a long bow, has been enlightening and adds a new dimension to your English language skills. Idioms like this one enrich our language and make it more vibrant and expressive. Remember, the key to mastering idioms is not just understanding their meanings but also practicing them in context. So, don't hesitate to use, drawing a long bow, next time you hear an unbelievable story. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to helping you discover more exciting aspects of the English language in our upcoming videos.